Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Kiss the Paper Studio. How are you? Thank you for joining me today. Uh, it's a late video today. I do apologize. Uh, my voice is a little crackly, so I might be drinking plenty of water. Um, we had unexpected company come. Well, it was unexpected to me because they forgot to tell me, my children. So <laughs> I had um, unexpected company and I wasn't available for a video yesterday. So I'm here today after a long day and um, we'll just get started. How is everyone? I hope you guys are well. I've printed out papers. Um, I've just went ahead in my kit. Uh, these kits are all released. Um, if something specific that somebody wants to know, um, just let me know and I'll try to see what I can um, bring up or find on it. Um, th these papers are in a kit. They are the um, antique pages. And then um, these papers are all in a coffee dyed kit. Um, this is my twall kit, the blue one. And some of these are the antique coffee dyed pages on the back of the, or not antique, but coffee dyed pages on the back of the twall kit. So I'm just going to get started here. I have some letters. Um, some of these letters might not be released, um, but some are, and, and they're in kits. So I've used the red twall kit and the blue twall kit, the antique pages. Um, I've used my antique letters kits, and um, this was in the um, French beauty kit. Uh, some of these are in the backer pages. Some of them are just the backer pages on things um, in some of the kits that I have previously released. So I'm just going to go ahead here and see what we can come up with to put some of these books together. Um, I think we'll do the two books now. I think we should be able to get them done. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we will. I had some cardstock here. You know, this was the uh, Anna Griffin cardstock, and then I also had this one. Let me take the plastic off. Uh, this one was from Recollections. Recollections is Michael's, and they might still have it. It has gold on it. Um, I'll see how it goes. I think I like it, and of course, there's a bunny on there. <laughs> I haven't used a bunny in quite a bit of time. Oh, yeah. Did you guys take reference to the bunny that's in the kit? Uh, the new? I'm not sure if you saw it. I bet you did, though. No, because I always have to have a bunny in one of my kits. That's my thing. <laughs> I do have a bunny in the new natural um, natural uh, romance or, wait, neutral romance kit. What am I doing? I need to measure first. I know it's four and a half. Now, so I guess four and a half, four and a half by ten. Let me just check it. The four and a half. It really doesn't matter because I could put a piece of fabric over there. And it's going to have to be a bit smaller anyway. So how is everyone? I hope you guys are well. Yeah, that's good. And I'll just cover it with some fabric maybe there. That'll be good. All right, let me just mark my... Where I want to cut it um, on the back side. Let me get my. Let me do. Let me do another one at four and a half. Maybe I'll just mix them up both if I can. Let me see if this is long enough. It is not, so I might not be able to mix them up. I maybe only. I may only get one of these ones in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Some reason this looks just a teeny bit crooked. Let me straighten it out. <clears throat> and there we go. Okay. Yeah, it the design is a little cut. No, that's good. If my eye is a little crooked, maybe it's my eye, it's my eye. So you guys are all liking this series. I'm so happy. I really, really am. 
it's a lot of fun to do the neutral colors. It really is. It's a challenge. Mm. I want to cut. I'm going to go down here. Okay. I'll go ahead and chop those up. And then I'll do the next two to see what I can get. So we can put them down together. And then we'll pick out our signatures. Okay, this should work. Let me just double check my work. And this one back here and this one over here. So this is good. And then this is good. Okay, I'm gonna glue that down. Yeah, cause then I'll put, I'll just put a strip of fabric on the top of there where the papers are. Or I can even collage over it to be honest. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a little strip of fabric, I think. Or should I collage? Hold on. <laughs> Let me see. Mm -hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Um, you could do either or. Would a, would a piece of fabric make this too bulky? Oh, look at that, it's upside down too. It's a good thing I checked. That would have made me cry. Well, I probably would have picked it up anyway. Um, Hmm. You know what? I may just go ahead and put a piece of fat up, uh, piece of fabric, a piece of paper down the center to cover that because of the fact that um, I don't. I think the fabric would make it a bit. Um, a bit too. What's the word? Stiff. If you know what I mean. Let's try it. I do. I think it would be a bit too stiff. I'm not going to go crazy because you're really not going to see it. I'm just going to um, stick this right here like this. You're not going to see it. It's going to be covered up with the <clears throat> with the other pieces. And I think I'll just glue that on with a glue stick and then I'll just take this piece and put it right here. I'll, I'll get it the same size so that there's no extra bulk. And then I'll go ahead and glue that down. Let me move this over to the side so I can have more room to work. I've made a mess of things here. Um, I have company coming tomorrow as well. So tomorrow's, um, no, I think I wanted to use this as a glue book because I don't, I don't think I could use those. Um, it's about murder. Nobody wants to, nobody wants any pages about murder. Unless of course you're making a book and theme with that, but um, I have um, company coming tomorrow. My niece is coming to meet Ciro because she hasn't met him yet. Her and her boyfriend are coming. That's my niece from Pennsylvania who rides the horses. Not my little niece, but my, um, she's now uh, 22. 20? She's 22 now. Oh my goodness. Um, she's coming to meet Ciro because she's never met Ciro before. And uh, I thought it was so sweet of her to make the plans to come and see him on her own without her mama, because usually she comes with my sister. There we go, that's good enough. And then, um, so she'll be here until, she'll be here until Sunday. So I kind of have a busy weekend going on. I will try to get videos in. Um, I can't, I can't necessarily promise, because I don't want to make promises that I can't keep. 
but I'm going to try my best. Um, I probably will get one in tomorrow, I hope, um, to get one in tomorrow before they arrive. And then um, Sunday. So I may just not get a video in on Saturday. I'm not really sure what the day has planned for all of us. Okay, so I just put the paper in the center so I can cover that up. Now I'm going to um, attempt, and I say attempt because the um, glue has not been working right. I'm going to attempt to do those pieces. And we're going to put the bunny on the back. The bunny one on the back and the gold dotted one on the front. The triangle, or yeah, are they triangles? They're like squares. They're just not triangles. Oh my goodness. Don't, don't mind me. Linda McCoy, you know what I say. Don't listen to me. <laughs> um, they are squares shaped more like a diamond. <laughs> Silly me. I'm going to put all this glue on here. It comes out good. I don't want to use the heavy book glue. Um, if you notice, I'm not using that. The PVA glue takes, takes too long to dry, and this works just as well, the fabric glue. It really does. Um, it keeps it in place. And also, if you go to rip it off, you know, you will rip the paper. So, um, that's good enough for me. Let me just do, I don't want any glue on my fabric. Let me just do this. All around. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down now. On here, make sure it's upright, it is. And I'm gonna put it down. You have a teeny tiny bit of wiggle room. Teeny tiny. Okay. I just had a card, here it is. There we go. And that's good. See that? Now you can't see that. I used paper in there, rather. And it's really, you're not going to see it. Just a tiny bit right there. That's it. Okay. And let's do this side now. The bunnies. So that's how I would do that. I think that the fabric, you know, most people use fabric in, in there. And I think for this project and for this width and type of book or mass of book, that it is too small. Um, it would bulk it up too much. So using the paper on the spine inside and just collaging over there to hide everything is good enough. I, I feel. All right, let's get this over here and get the glue on here. Got to work rather quickly because of the fact that, you know, this glue does tend to set quickly. And I also have these lights, the lights on in here above me. And um, they are hot. So it might be adding to the drying of the glue. Oh, dear Lord, this thing. Please help me. Thank you. Let me get through. <laughs> I'm going to ask for a little help from above while I do this. Okay. Let's put this down. The bunnies. Little cute little bunnies and the bears and the deer. 
Okay, this one just fits. I thought I measured it differently. Oh, I think I had it the other side first. That's probably why. Oh, but it's good. Okay, good. All right, so this is down. That's down, and we have our center. It's all good. I'm just fix it a little bit. Seems good to me. Okay, I want to just get rid of these strings up here. There's no need for all those extra strings. And okay, let's leave this to dry a moment. I'm going to hold this close here like this. And did I have another one? I keep losing all my stuff. <laughs> I'll get another one. I haven't done a massive cleanup in quite some time, so I need to because I've made such a mess. And just some checking on the inside that it's not lifting because it's hitting the spine and it's not. We'll go ahead and do this one now. And I will see if I have enough because I don't think I do. Um, I only have one piece. Mm. doesn't quite cover. Let me get this off because it's a perforated edge. And we don't need it. Very hot in here. It's very hot. I turned off the air conditioner because it's rather loud. But in the meantime, it's hot. Um, I'm just taking a look to see what else I have as far as scrapbooking paper. If I have something else that could maybe go with what that is, what I'm doing. I have this. Let's take a look. I don't think, I don't know. Do I want texture on the inside of my book? Like, it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I think it's cool. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, I'm, I am. It's gonna, it's like very thick, that's all. I don't know, what do you think? Let me see what it would be like if I put the papers down. Hold on. So we'll just go ahead and take some papers here and fold them up. Actually, let me see. Possibly I can get away with putting this inside so that I can check it out to see. I'll just put a whole journal in there and, and see if it will interfere with the journal. No. I don't think so. I think it's going to be good. Okay, I'm going to use this. Why not? It's been in my stash for quite some time. <laughs> Might as well use it. All right. It's pretty cool. I have to admit. I'm just going to get my cutter here. I'm going to do it at four and a half. A little below four and a half, little, 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 tiny bit. We'll check it out. Good. Okay, I'll do the next one. Same. Four and a half. Give it a little texture inside. And. <laughs> I'll take a look at the back of this, but I got this a long time ago. You guys, it's been in my stash for quite some time. <clears throat> I did some invitations where I had it as like a picket fence. It was like the, it was a fence on a card. Um, no, I can't, I can't tell you guys. I don't know. It's like the cardboard, but you can use that cardboard and just paint it white. You, you could do that too in your books. 
You can, certainly. All right, let me get a good measurement here. Pour. And what's this? The back? Okay. And back. And then this one will do. and cut that and yeah so I will I'll see you guys um, tomorrow for I, I mean I'm gonna say that I am but if I don't just know that I am caught up with family coming in and I have to clean my house um, well it's not really dirty but you know dust in the bathroom and things like that and uh change my bedding um because my niece is staying with me so I, i'm i'm gonna let them stay on um, in my room because i can sleep on my nice cozy couch <laughs> and i don't want anyone else sleeping on my nice cozy white couch if you know what i mean i'd rather be the one <laughs> and i just think um for some reason, I got, I just need to take a hairline off there. This one, oh, this is the back. Yeah, it seems like it's just a little bit wide. Oh no, that one's fine. Why is the front not the same size as the back? Well, it is. Oh no. Okay, back, good. And then front. Hmm. I'm just wondering here. That's at four and a half. And this is at four and a half. It's like a little hairline. That's got a hairline more. A hairline, let me tell you. But you can't tell when it's closed. So I don't know. Okay. Possibly this is off by a hairline. Oh, yeah. I went in a little bit. It's exactly at four and a half, so I'll just take a tiny bit. I went in a little bit more on the other one. That's why. This one I did exactly four and a half. Dingy, dingy, Donna. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. I wanted to put something down here. So we'll go ahead and do that again. And I'll just take a piece off. And take another piece off. And then we're good to go. We're moving along, we're moving along. So today was an unexpected beach day. It was a beautiful day here. Um, there was a cool breeze at the beach, so it was really nice. It wasn't, it's been super hot, but now it's supposed to rain all weekend. So I'm glad we went to the beach today. Um, my, <clears throat> I speak often about my friend from Las Vegas that I have a very dear friend in Las Vegas. And her children and my children are why we are friends. And her children came in. So the kids didn't tell me that they were coming in. And um, they came for a visit. And Cyril absolutely adores them. He loves them. So it's, it was a fun visit for them yesterday and today. Okay. 
All right, good. And then we'll just put this on now. I need that needle back because I'm having problems with this. I, I do think I need to fill it with new glue. Um, possibly the glue in here is just getting to be old. Now I did before do the glue where I added some acetone to it. Sometimes that works, but um, you know, when the glue sits too long in the bottle old and I don't use it, I, I like to re I like to add new glue to it and then just mix it up so that the new glue reactivates the old one, if that makes any sense. So, I think what that means is that I got a sale, you guys. So, thank you. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. <laughs> These books also will be available. I am putting them up. So if you are interested in them, I would suggest to <laughs> message me on um, my email at Twisted Paper Studio because there's been a lot of um, talk about them. So I'm letting you know first, my viewers here on YouTube, that I will be putting them up for sale if no one claims them before uh or when i'm done and they won't they won't take me long to finish because i'm just gonna insert these pages and just do a few things in them and they're gonna be done they're not going to take too long they're not a big journal uh, so yeah so you can email me if you're interested okay and that's done in there Um, I see a bubble in the paper. I don't know why. I thought I got all glue in there. That's all right. We'll get it out. And you won't see it anyway because the paper will be behind it. I like that in there. <clears throat> okay, we'll do this side. What's going on here? I thought I got a lot of glue in there. I'm just going to do it again. Oh, is it because of that tape? It might be. Or possibly I just didn't get enough glue. That could be a reason too. All right, that's better. And for good measure, I'm just going to glue this up on the back here with the glue stick. And then I'll glue around it with the fabric glue. Because it is a little bit thicker. This... <clears throat> Paper, b b like, what is it? Something board. Look like uh, it's corrugated cardstock. That's what it is. Corrugated cardstock. It's like corrugated board. child is bouncing, bouncing upstairs again. I know some of you said you couldn't hear her, but sometimes she makes a big, loud bounce, and you can hear her. So, just so you know, sometimes she does. A big one. Okay. Love it. I Oops. <laughs> I really love it. Oh, I don't want to step on these in case I want to use them somewhere else. And sometimes when I step on them, I kick them and I imprint them with my, or crinkle them. Okay. Oh, I love it. 
It's really cool. Okay. I'm going to keep saying that. <laughs> My viewers know, you guys know, if I say I love something, you know I love it. Okay. Good. All right, let's get some paper in here, shall we? Where's the paper I had? Right, this is it. And I have papers everywhere, so please don't mind me. I really do have papers everywhere. I wanted to show you guys the bunny. I don't know if you saw it or you didn't see it. I think you did. It's on the um <clears throat> it's on the sheet that here, it's over here. It's this one. See him? <laughs> He's cute. I had to put him in. Alright, so let's do some of these papers here. I don't think I put it back on that one. I think I was trying to sort them out before. And then some of these two that are this way, you know, you could also use it long ways. I did make them so that they could go this way too, but you can also use them long way. And I think I am going to. Like that, you could use it that way. If we only get one signature in, I don't know how many we're gonna get in, but if we only get one in, I'll just go ahead and do the other one um, without you and then show you afterwards. We'll see, because it'll be the same process. Should we do some music paper? When you're smiling, why not? Hopefully it'll stand up, because sometimes music paper is um, <clears throat> weak like that. We don't want that. I liked this one. And I want to get some of the other papers that I have. Oh, here, here's a letter, a French letter. Now I think I think I gotta take some off here. <clears throat> off the top and the bottom, but I did say that I was gonna do that. And this is printed on newspaper print. That one. And we'll use this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we'll go, we'll do it about, maybe, I definitely want this one. I think I wanted this to be my first page. I really like it a lot. Even though there's all these other ones that are letter, letters, we can mix them up. Don't worry, not to worry, not to worry. We'll mix them up. And I'm going to have to, you know, do some cutting because, of course, this has lots of white around it. It's okay. We'll cut it up. I have a tiny little bit of paint. Not too much. <laughs> Not too much. Very quick. I'll do one twall. One piece of my twall kit. Not not the letter. How about oh shall we do her or them? I'll have to take a choice. Make a choice. Make a choice. I think that we let me see how many pages do we have so far? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Should we do both? Oh, wait. I already have this one. Oh, no. It's different. All right. We'll do this one. And then we'll do this one. And we will do some... Some coffee dyed paper too. So we'll do this coffee dyed grid paper. We'll definitely do that. And we'll do this. I already, I think I did some of these. These are all my coffee dyed papers, but. And we're not using those today anymore. I did some in the um, digitals. Let me just see what papers I have here. Like book pages. So I do have, you know, I used to go through this a lot and take out from it. Um, that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll do one of those. And could we do a black and white one? Maybe. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And maybe that. Well, how about I get one of these? This is good. All right, we'll do this for now, and then I'll pretty much do something very similar in the next, um, in the next uh, journal. It's gonna be very similar. I gotta use all this stuff up. I never even take it out. I always forget about it. Maybe a piece of encyclopedia paper. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do here now. Definitely a piece of this. This is fun. Um, but I am gonna have to trim it up. Oh, did I not use this? Oh no, I could use it. Okay, good. I can use it. And then a piece of that. Good. This. Good. Uh, sometimes I like to do this so that the bot, the side is, you know, one side is bigger, and then I'll just extend it so this way you can enjoy the whole piece. Oh, how beautiful! I don't think I'm going to use this in there. And then this, we can use one half on one side and one half in the other book. This is fun paper to write on. Maybe I will just go here. Uh, do like the same thing. The big extension or we'll see. Okay, I think that is enough. Let's configure this now because I'm gonna have to cut it down. Um, which one do I want to work with now? This one, I guess. We'll work with this one now. Okay, so. I liked the one page. I like this as my cover or this one. So, let's see. Do I want something really... When you open it really dark or do I want something lighter? Oh, that's a tough choice. I think I'm going to go lighter. <clears throat> And we'll just start putting papers in. Let me see that that's not too big. Nope. Okay. So.
So I need to um, probably trim them all down first and then we'll put them together. How's that? So let's do that first. And um, quite possibly, I don't know if I should put a 10 inch, if I should get my long ruler and do that or we're gonna be here. Yeah, maybe, let me, let me do that. So I'm gonna get my different ruler with the settings on it so I can see the length because otherwise I'll be guessing and I don't want to guess. Because then we'll be here longer. <laughs> well, I know you guys probably won't mind, but some of you might, but some of you won't. I don't wanna guess. We wanna get it right the first time. So, we need to be smaller than 10. And I need to decide taking off tops and bottoms. I think over here, I'm gonna take off the bottom. It's okay, I won't miss it, it'll be okay. And besides, I could use these for twisted tangles. <laughs> okay, so that's one. Here we'll take off the bottom. take off the flower on the bottom because you could see it it's okay you could still see it <clears throat> it's gotten awfully hot in here with these lights on you have to take off so much there and not so much here some of these I could make a pocket, but I'm just, I'm not going to right now. I think I'm going to take off some here and then just a little up there. There we go. And here we will just do this at there. Oh, that's a toughie now, isn't it? Well, we'll take off her dress, that's all. We'll do it this way. That's okay, still get the picture. How about here? That's good. Um, well, we're not taking off those angels up there, so we'll just have to take off down here. And I'll make sure that I'll get everything so it won't be cut. <laughs> How's that? There we go. Good. I've saved everyone. Now we're going to trim all around here. And then we'll check to see if that tent... Oh, yep, that's good. Okay. There we go. And here, I need to trim all around here because there's whites on the inside. So we'll just do that quickly. And then here we'll check the 10. There we go. Got, got everything. And we're going to clean this up. I think I read somewhere one of my new viewers. Oh, if you're well, if you're new, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome here. Um, I think I read somewhere, one of my viewers, I, I can't recall. Uh, I was, I've been out doing so many things today. So, and I was at the beach and also trying to go to the market and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, somebody post, somebody said that they tried their first journal today. So I wanted to say bravo to you. Um, I think you said you were a little, a little can't recall the word you used, but I just wanted to say, I'm, I'm happy that you tried it. And I want you all to know that, listen, we all have to start somewhere, all of us, including myself. Um, you know, I do, I, I know that I come from a background 
in lots of different paper techniques and paper things and scrapbooking and invitations and and I've been working with paper for a long time. I understand that I may look like I have it all under control and I and I can do so many things and you're you may be comparing to me, but please don't because I had to start somewhere. And when I was starting somewhere, I was looking at others saying the same thing. And I never thought that I would be where I am today um, with you when I was just starting. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. There's a little word of encouragement. That's why I am who I am and I do what I do because I believe that you can do it too. And sometimes when I was starting, um, the instructions weren't clear to me and I, and I had to do lots of research. So I'm kind of like omitting the research part for you guys. I do the research. I've already done the research. So I'm omitting that part for you and I'm just allowing you to craft along with me and sharing everything that I've already researched and already figured out, if you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm very proud of you guys for trying and doing the things that I do along with me or after I'm done and following along or if you're new and it's you're looking at last year's videos I'm proud of you all you're you're great crafting buddies I'm very proud of you now these can all be twisted tangles and if you don't know what twisted tangles are just search my channel for twisted tangles and you'll see them <clears throat> okay so I'm going to put this signature together I'm going to crease these again make sure they're down Really good. I know I, I'm doing it in a pile. You too can do it in a pile. You don't have to do them individually, but I'm making sure they're creased down good because now we're going to make our signature. And why does it seem so long, this one? Oh, because it's down there. Okay, there we go. Our height should be good. We'll check it and then we'll put everything in there. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. That's gonna look so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, let's start where, where I'm gonna put it in. Okay, well I said, uh, I did say, well maybe we'll make that the center. Okay, so I have lots of different papers here. Most of them are, uh, most of them are, I don't want that there. Most of them are um, digitals. So I'm gonna be using that type of paper. Some are, you saw me pick them out. Some are not digitals. And let's do this one. Okay. Not there. Let's do this one. And then. No, it's a little harder because of course everything is, is similar in color so I'm gonna try to break it up a little bit but it's similar in color you know what's breaking it up for me is using these papers that are not the digital like the book pages let me put this in this one in here okay and then I'll do this one Yeah, so if you're interested in the journals, you can email me at twistedpaperstudio at gmail.com. And um, first come, first serve. And I think I'm going to turn this around just to give it a pop of color on the outside. I'll put this 
in there. And look at that, we have more. Maybe I'll go back and, or maybe I can fit it all in. Maybe I might break up more paper here. Let me check. Um, how about this one? That's a piece of coffee dyed paper that I was gonna make into an envelope, but that's okay. <laughs> this one I wanted as my cover. And yeah, okay, so I have some paper to break up things. So let's go back here and just break up some of this stuff just a little bit. Um, or maybe I did, okay, oh, in here, okay. So we can use this one here. And then that one there. And maybe we'll do this darker one here. And use this here. Okay. I like that. I'm thinking that looks good. Pretty. All right, it's a lot of digitals. I need to get my size just right. It feels like it's, it feels like it's right. Some feel a little taller, so I just need to make sure that they're down right in there. Oh my goodness, is it so hot. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking doing two signatures today. So it's a little... No, it's good. As long as I keep it good and taut might have just a tiny sticking out. But I personally like that. I do. It kind of makes it look like a book that's well read and well loved. Um, I do, I personally, I like it. Whoopsie, I just knocked it right out of its spot. Now I'm gonna have to get my clips and put them on. And now I'm going to make my holes in here, you guys. Um, at the same time, with the paper inside, I know I'm being daring, instead of finding the holes first, because I'm only going to do two holes. That's it. I'm just doing two. And I might do it in the paper first. Yeah, I'm going to do it in the paper first. Forget the daring part. <laughs> I'm gonna do it in the paper first and then I'll poke it through. Okay, so first I'm going to line the papers up with my clips. Like this. They're lined up. One I just need to move just a tiny bit. And they're good and taut into each other. Check it one more time, that's gonna, you know, we need to do it again. A few times is a charm, don't worry. They need to be lined up perfectly, remember, because they're just the right size. And it's okay to keep trying. You don't have to be perfect the first time. Imagine the dressmaker they um, go back and do it, you know, however many times to get it done right. Okay, and I can see that. I'm gonna take my little pencil and I'm gonna just eye it in here while it's in the book just to get my feel for where I wanna do the markings because I only wanna do two. There, I'm just getting a marking on my things. 
Okay, that's where I want to do it. All right, so now I'm going to poke a hole through. I'll use this all, and I'm going to close my close my paper because leaving it open will set all of the circles that I or all the holes that I throw push through in different spots. If I leave it closed, they'll all be in one spot. I need to take a sip of water. I've been talking too much. There we go. That's in. And then I'm going to go and do this one. This one here. And just keeping it closed. There we go. So now I have my two holes in here. There. All right. Now, I'm going to go and look on here and line my paper up here and I'm just gonna poke through just to get it in the same area. It's here. And I'm gonna use my pencil to just mark the spot. Okay, that's all I'm doing. I just wanna make sure my papers are gonna line up because of the fact that Remember, this is an exact fit, you guys. It's pretty much an exact fit, so there's no there's no movement for um, the other one. I'll do the pages smaller. This one I did them instead of doing them at um, a little under ten. I did them. I did them at just ten. So they're just going to fit. Okay. Now I poked a hole right through, right through the spine, right through all my work, and it's okay, I'm fine with that because I picked a pretty string to put there. <laughs> okay, now let me get my needle and thread. So hold on. That's the one thing that I think that I have lost on my table. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yay. Okay, so I have my needle. And I get asked about this needle a lot. So if you're new here, you know, um, I, you can get this needle on Amazon. You can get it on, um, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it in Michael's. You can get it in Hobby Lobby. You can get it in Walmart. You just got to look in the sewing section. It's a long needle. Just put in long needle. I don't know who it belongs to or what it's really for, because I've got lots of mixed things. But um, some people say a doll needle, some people say an upholstery needle. So I have this string here with the gold in it, and I also have one with silver. See that? I think I'm gonna use the gold one. And just go ahead, and, and this is just um, twine. That's all it is. You can get the twine at your local um, craft store, and it's got some gold um, in it. And I'm going to see if I can't get it on the end of my needle. I'm pretty sure that I can. The gold on it is like a tinsel. And I'm hoping that it's going to work and go through my book. That's my prayer. So say it along with me. <laughs> we'll see. Um, if it doesn't go through, then I'll just use an, a hemp thread. But we're going to try this together, okay? Maybe I should have tried it before without two, but it's okay. It's quite all right. We're gonna try it. I don't know. It might work, it might not, but I liked it. That gold again is just tinsel. And it might ravel the whole thing, but it might look really good. So we're going to try. Okay, I'm gonna put my needle through the paper on the inside first. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it went through the paper. That's good. And then I'm gonna come through the book. And let's see. Oh, it worked. Okay, now I'm gonna come through the book. I'm not gonna tie a ribbon on the outside. I'm gonna tie the ribbon on the inside. So I'm gonna come through this way. And then I'm gonna come through the signature this way. I'm gonna open it up just a bit, not a lot. Poke my needle in, make sure it's flat. 
make sure your needle's flat so that it's going through all the levels. And it did, so I'm gonna pull it through now. And hopefully, oh yay! All right guys, so the tinsel worked. The tinsel ribbon, or the tinsel, hopefully I did this right. It's upside down, nope, yay! Okay, so now I'm gonna pull it taut. There we go, and pull it taut, pull this taut, and then I'm going to tie it into a bow. I need myself extra string at first. Make sure it's taut. And I'm going to tie this first into a heavy duty knot so that it stays. And then I'll tie it into a bow. So I leave my finger there. Um, if I can do it without my fingers cramping, leave my finger on that knot and then I'll just pull it uh, the other piece through and I won't let go until I get it all the way down. Oh, and my finger's stuck with the glue. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> So I know sometimes you can use something else. There we go. It would help if I had five more hands. I'm just trying to make it taut so that's not loose. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna tie this as a bow like that. I'll leave a little less, a little less bow there. Okay. And then I'll tie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave these a little longer. And I'm going to tie each end so that the um, tinsel doesn't unravel from the string. Okay. I'm gonna take this off, that off. And we're gonna take a look at our handy dandy work. Oh, I like it. Like it so much. Get rid of some of the string and see how it's just a little sticking out. That's it. A tiny bit is there, but I like that look. I love it, not on the back. It's just cause of the top maybe is the fabric is a little shorter. But I love that look, you guys, I do. Get rid of all these strings. And, um, of course, that's how they're going to be because I sewed around it. So it should stop. The raveling will stop eventually. <laughs> okay. Because I've sewn around the book. And that is that, you guys. I love it. I love it a lot. I'm liking it. Now, that was the one. That was the inside where we did this. And see, you could see just a tiny bit of the paper there. Not a lot. But at least you can't see that brown book. And that's it. This is our book. I'm loving it. I'll decorate it a little bit on the inside, but I think that I'm going to leave it up to the, um, maybe I'll just do one. Well, no, I'll do two. I'll just decorate them a little on the inside. Because I think this is the kind of book where you need to take some scraps of paper and journal in the inside. This is like a journaling book. There's really no need for me to fill it. This is, it's beautiful. It's inspiring and what fun it would be to journal in here. And maybe I'll put a pocket back here, possibly. Possibly. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I think that might be a good idea. All right, so I will see you guys again. Oh, it's over an hour. It's okay, I think you're gonna love it. <laughs> I, think, I think you'll enjoy it. All right, so I am, um, I'm off for now. Um, tomorrow, it might be a maybe for a video. It all depends on how my day is going. So tomorrow is a maybe. And if by any chance I can't get a video in tomorrow, I will be home tomorrow night. So I could possibly do it late. My niece is here and she won't mind if I'm doing a video while she's here. And, um, 
Saturday will be an absolute no. So we'll be busy that day unless I get some free time. You know, we live close together, so me and my kids, so I, my niece could go there and I don't have to be there. But of course, I don't want to miss out on anything either. <laughs> and then um, Sunday she leaves, so I don't know the time she's leaving, but Sunday we'll resume back to normal. Okay, so bye for now, my crafting buddies. I'll see you guys again really, really soon. Thank you so much for supporting me and joining in my channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Okay, bye.